So we're headed back to FAR today. Uh, we got the U-Haul here all packed up, uh, gonna head out. Uh, and yeah, really we're hoping that this one goes better than uh, the last one. So obviously the last one exploded, not what we wanna see this time. So we made some changes to the engine, made sure we're actually t minimizing risks really is what we're doing. Um, keeping our procedures the same, making sure that everything stays smooth and safe. Uh, and yeah, we should be able to fire before 12 tomorrow. Hopefully that's the goal. Uh, and hopefully we'll see an actual good test fire this time. Things are going pretty well so far. We just finished up our pressure decay for the night. Just making sure that nothing got jostled around or loosened while we took the arduous journey all the way from Irvine up to the Mojave Desert. We're out here back at FAR. Took us a little bit. Um, all of us are finally all arriving after trickling in. We just finished up pressure decay for Mocha. Um, just verifying, checking for leaks. Probably gonna do it again tomorrow. Um, right now we're with this, like Mocha's all tucked in for the night, tarp. Hopefully it's not gonna rain. Spirits are high, we're excited to do this again. And right now we're also getting ready for ejection testing. Uh, that's gonna be happening in a few minutes here um, with the goal of getting ready for launch. And all this is to prepare, all this here is to prepare for Mocha tomorrow. So spirits are high and hopefully it's gonna be an early start tomorrow. Um, so. We're gonna start with instant rotation check, pressure decay. Uh, last time the operation went very smoothly. And so I would expect nothing less than that today. Um, really just the outcome as you guys all know is what we're looking to change today. Uh, so we're pretty well prepared to do that and I think we're in a good good spot today. So time wise we're gonna go get started now. The goal is to do this before 12 so we can get everyone out of here. Um, and yeah, we're doing one test fire today just as a reminder and then yeah. All right, so we're here in the morning back for round two at FAR uh, and right now we're just finishing up uh, the hoisting and we're getting ready for our N2 purges. Uh, after that we're gonna fill our COPV. Uh, Berkeley is actually gonna fire next to us and then we're gonna go into our fill procedures after that. Uh, and then yeah, should be hopefully a good test fire today. A lot of the operations have gone very flawlessly and very smoothly so far, just like they did last time. Um, so we're hoping for more of the same for that today. Uh, really what we're looking to change is the outcome, right? Like if we blew our last engine up, we're looking to not do that again today. So we've changed a lot of different variables in our engine to make sure that we give ourselves the best possible chance of doing that. Uh, so yeah, it's an exciting time and we're, we're getting ready to, to fire and see what happens. Open fucking M bass. Uh, so I think this is, from what I can see, a step in the right direction. Um, we got thrust data, so that's good. We also blew out our nozzle, not good. Uh, so there's things to improve on. We still have work to do. Uh, and I know everybody's probably wondering what that means for launch and for everything kind of after this. As of right now, I think the plan is to come back and do another test fire next quarter. Uh, we can't really go based on what just happened, but we do, again, this is a step in the right direction. It doesn't really, like, it technically doesn't rule out launch for like week 10. It is very unlikely though, I will say. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's not what we wanted, but it is, I mean, we to have three test fires potentially in one year is unheard of for this project. Um, and we still finished today before noon, so we have a lot to be proud of today. I, I want everybody to realize that uh, this is, again, improvement, and that's really what we're striving for. We have a lot of invaluable data as well. Um, the slow motion video, we have actual data for the tanks, the COPV, everything. So we're looking good for that. We're gonna diagnose this the same way we would have for any other failure analysis. We'll make our conclusions, and then we'll come back again and hopefully get it flawless. Yeah, so we, we ended up melting our injector, and we ended up shot putting this dude like 300 yards that way, but so we got good data. We know exactly what happened. We got some awesome slow frame footage. And 
We even managed to break the undergraduate launch record for engine nozzles. This thing went flying, absolutely flying. So we'll be back here, shot putting nozzles since uh, 2018. And yeah, we're gonna kill it.